Today we will be carving our handle but before we're going to do that we're going to make ourselves a little tool that's going to help us Now what we're going to do, we're going to use a metal punch and we're going to punch it in the places where the circle crosses the straight line and those places are going to be the places where we're going to put a drill and then we will put our rubber string through it and we're going to do that on both pieces and our jig will be done. Our holes on our jig are already drilled and I have to say I am a little bit disappointed with my work because they are not in a perfect line uh, and I have a very good explanation why that is. Well, I was planning on using a 1mm or 1.5mm drill for that mandrel, for that jig and then I reminded myself today when I was searching for it, that a while ago I broke them both, the 1 and 1.5mm drill but when I broke them I was like, hmm, where ever and I'm going to use such a small drill and it's, it's not gonna happen, I don't need them and guess what, yeah, when, when I needed them they were gone, so always remember that uh, check your tools before you start the job and uh, I had to use 2 or 2.5mm uh, drill uh, for this and because of that some of the holes connected or almost connected so I'm not very happy with the work but I think for today it will have to do and I think it won't matter in terms of using the jig If it will all go well, then my work for many more projects to come will become much easier. All the lines are in line. And look at that. Ah, I know what I have forgotten. One important thing. Give me a second. We need to mark one line so that when we are turning the wheel on the other side, we know exactly how much have it turned. Has it turned 45 angles, 180 or 360? So this will be our starting point. And this is our starting point as well. So now we know how much exactly have we twisted the end and how much the spiral is going to be twisted as well. <sighs> yeah, okay. Mm-hmm, I... No, it, it, it does work. It does work. I want to have it like 180 
and now what we need to do is to lock it okay it's it's locked and it works it works ladies and gentlemen we have a working jig for carving the handle this is 180 degrees twisted wire uh, I have to say it looks good from all the sides uh, should we go and try to make it 360 it's going to be tight but let's let's see it this is just string if it breaks well I can go buy another one this is just a chip chip string okay so this is 180 and let's give it a whole twist uh, it's tight it's tight it's too tight for some regions uh-huh and it's locked this is 360 degree let's lock it let's check all the strings okay so it does need a little hand adjustment but apart from that it works it works great <laughs>